Let's talk about confidence and belief in one's abilities that are founded on your experience, your knowledge, your education, things you've done in the past that have all paved the path to what lies ahead of you. Recently I met with a friend um, from another state who's in a leadership position, in a technology leadership position, and the CIO role is about to become vacant. He's thinking about it, he's considering it, but he's doubting himself. He's not confident in his abilities and experience and says, you know, some of the things that he told me that really kind of stand out to me is, well, I don't know how to do this. I have never done this before. To which I respond, guess what? At one point I was there as well. I've never done it before. But I took a shot because I believe in myself and my abilities and what I can bring and contribute to that organization and that team. Take a shot. You always have to go bigger if you want to grow and advance. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about personal fulfillment. I personally enjoy the journey. I want to be able to be in positions to help as many people as I possibly can. And that's what drives me and motivates me. If I'm in an organization that, or in a position where I can help 100 people, if there's an opportunity to help 1,000, that's interesting to me. If there's an opportunity to help 10,000 or 100,000 or a million, that's even more interesting to me, right? Success, money, perks, all come as an outcome, as a byproduct of the quality work that you put in. But confidence is something that we can't keep overlooking. And I don't know how to teach someone how to be confident, but I know how to point out to them all the wonderful things they've done in their career thus far as a really great grounding mechanism as to why you should go for that next higher rung because you are worthy of it, you've prepared yourself, you've done it. Guess what? None of us were CIOs or CEOs or major executives at birth, or at five, or 10, or 15, or 20, or 25, right? Chances are most have gotten to those positions in their 40s or 50s, or later, after they've put in 20 or 30 or 40 years of work. So believe in yourself, think about what you want to do and what you want to be strategically in three to five years, put a plan together and then execute. Don't waste another minute or another second doubting yourself, especially if it's a natural progression in your field. You're not going from, hey, I was doing X in IT, now I want to go be a um, you know, nuclear physicist. That may not work as easily, but if it's a natural progression, you worked your way up to the number two spot over the last two decades, and now number one spot is available if you want it, if that's what you want for yourself in your career, grab it, take it, because no one is going to give you anything in life, so you have to earn it, and you've already earned it over the last two decades. So believe in yourself, go after what you want to accomplish, because some of these opportunities are here today, they may not be around tomorrow, so seize the day when presented with an opportunity that is exciting and interesting and valuable to you. Have a wonderful day, wish you all the best. As always, if this is your first video, please subscribe below and leave a comment about this video or generally your thoughts when it comes to business. What is your primary focus nowadays? And um, if there's a way for me to help, I will jump in the comments and, and do so. Have a wonderful day.